Hi everyone, Christopher Tin here. A lot of people have been asking me recently how an album gets made, particularly one as ambitious as The Lost Birds. So I thought I'd put together a little video explaining the process for you. It goes something like this. It starts with a lot of research, months and months of research. I think about the subject matter of the album, not just the literal subject matter, but also sort of the metaphorical side of it too. What's this album really about, and what does it pertain to in today's society? And then I start looking for texts. In the case of The Lost Birds, I've been reading a lot of poetry. Poems by Emily Dickinson, Sarah Teasdale, Christina Rossetti. I'm really fascinated by the poets who wrote during the Industrial Revolution. Then comes the composing. It starts with me basically improvising at the piano. I spend a lot of time just sitting down at the keyboard, just making noise. I don't worry about whether it's good or bad. I just get in there and I, I start throwing ideas around. But gradually these ideas start to take shape and I start to refine them and I start to find the order in them. And I keep going deeper and deeper and developing my ideas until at last I feel like I have something that holds up well on its own. Then it's time to engrave the score in parts. Now, this step requires the utmost attention to detail because if you make a mistake, you're gonna waste a lot of time in the studio. So my team and I triple check everything thoroughly. We're recording this album a little differently than my previous albums in that we're gonna record the vocals first this time around and I have a great vocal ensemble that I'm working with for The Lost Birds, Vultures 8. They're one of the top singing groups in the world right now. And not only that, they actually have their own recording facility in London, which is perfect because I can produce their session remotely from Los Angeles while giving backers the chance to virtually attend the sessions as they're happening. And then the real fun begins. I take those vocal sessions and I build a tempo map around them to preserve the singer's phrasing. Then I take them to the most famous recording studio in the world, Abbey Road Studios, where I get to conduct the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. And that is so much fun. Then, we head back to Los Angeles where I spend a couple of months mixing and mastering with my engineers. So that, in a nutshell, is how I'll be making The Lost Birds. I hope you found this summary interesting. I'm really looking forward to making this album and I'm looking forward to sharing the entire creative journey with you all. So until next time, thank you very much for being great fans and supporters. Bye now.